everyone, I'm Kelly Jones with TheHeroAwakens.com and welcome to my channel. Hi, so this is week 20, week 20 of my weight loss journey. I've made it this far. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've never done this before. I've never made it this far. I've never kept going uh, no matter what. And so here I am, it's week 20, and I think today I'm just gonna do like what I've been doing. Just keep going, just like sharing my stats and my calories, and I uh, have added like sharing macros like uh, my uh, carbs and protein and fat, and then kind of talking about how much I've worked out and all that kind of stuff, just all those kind of things. So if you're interested in all that, please keep watching. So what I ate this week isn't really a whole lot different than last week. I've added a lot of foods though since this summer though. I'm so excited. Uh, but yeah, but I've mostly, I've been having, you know, eat, um, uh, mostly I've been having like for one like the different kinds of like protein powders like I'm still drinking my bone broth and a little bit of that beef carnivore shake and I've added a Garden of Life Sport Whey protein drink and I also already had it here it's a, a collagen protein drink it's um, made by Bulletproof I have chocolate and vanilla and I had a little bit of that this week too so those are kind of those kind of things um, and then for food food I made a lot of soup this week like mostly with beef and tomatoes and carrots and green beans it was so good and I'm still eating apples with the apples I'm not eating them raw I'm uh, because you know I had all that stomach stuff this summer like where I was having reactions like hives and all of that so I'm still taking everything really slow and I wasn't sure how well I would do with I haven't I'm cooking all of my veggies, I guess, and fruits, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just kind of boiling the apples, kind of boil the water down. I think it's called like stewed apples, and it's really good. It's really good. And, and then, then what I've added this week, oh my gosh, it's so good. I added raw honey. I could get myself into trouble, couldn't I, <laughs> with dieting and honey, or at least... I noticed that because I'm really enjoying it. But uh, yeah, but I put a little bit of honey on top of them. Oh, it is so amazing. But I think that's about everything. So let me see. Oh, and I'm still eating my uh, potatoes, uh, either mashed with a little water and butter, or uh, I, I kind of slice them and bake them and put a little olive oil on them. They're so good like that too. I've got a lot of yummy foods I'm eating. I'm so glad, but okay. Let's see. And oh, and I'm still doing intermittent fasting. I still inter, um, between either 12 hour fast or 16 hour fast every day. And that seems to help. And I also typically just eat two meals a day. There have been times, and it was kind of on accident, just I get busy, but there has been times where during my eating when during my eating window, I'll end up just sipping on those protein drinks, and then I end up just having one meal within like two hours or like kind of eating all of my food within like two hours the you know the soup and the apples and all of that kind of stuff um, and so it's kind of like a one meal a day sort of a modified I don't know but that's kind of the intermittent fasting I'm still doing it still seems to be working pretty good I think um, so let's see what else and okay now for my calor calorie and macro averages uh, this week adding all my calories together and dividing it out I had an average of 1,616 calories, and for my macros, I had an average of 144 carbs, 82 grams of protein, and 81 grams of fat. So, let me see, I'll go over this one more time. My calories, I had an average of 1,616 carbs, 144, protein 82, and fat 81. So, I'm guessing like, I don't know, um, the carbs, I'm thinking that seems more like kind of a moderate carb diet. Uh, so that's a little bit better. I'm not sure exactly what my carbs were this summer when I was having to eat all that rice, but I think they're a little higher than that. Um, so yeah, so I think that's still okay. And then uh, for my workouts, let's see. Yes. Okay, for my workouts, I worked out every day for at least 20 minutes. Actually, I never worked out over 20 minutes, but that was what I committed to myself this week, to work out at least 20 minutes, and I did do that every day. And uh, I mostly just did either ballet, or sometimes I did cardio with the free weights. I have free weights here, or like a kickboxing type of workout. 
Um, and all of those, I'm really enjoying all of those really well. I have a lot of stuff here. Like I even have a step here to do step workout. I have free weights. I have several weights, but I'm using a seven pound weights right now. And then for the uh, ballet, I just have like recorded ones. There's uh, like one on YouTube, like I mentioned last week that I've been doing. Uh, so yeah, it's going really well. And with this is something I really wanted to share with everybody. I had it in my mind. Um, I, I've, in the last 20 weeks, like I've said, I've just, I feel like what has made the difference, what is different this time is just a few, I've been calling it mindsets, but I think, I'm just trying to think of a better word for it, and I think principles, something like that. Like, I was kind of chatting with a friend about, what can I call this, and, and, and she had mentioned that there was somebody else who did like happiness commandments and stuff, and so I, I googled that and like, you know, synonyms for commandments, and I found principles, and I was like, that would work. So like, these principles, that I put in place really, really made all the difference in the world for how well it's been going this time for me, um, or finally just sticking for me to finally just be sticking to my diet and all. Uh, and so, one of them is with my workout, and it, they're, they've just been kind of coming to me like one little one at a time, and and they've been working, and I thought I'd share it with you. So this one, on August 24th, I have worked out every single day since August 24th. And that was a commitment to myself. Not everybody would want to do that, but I, that was just my commitment. And what, you know, like keep it simple. That's one of the principles I'm always saying. I was like, well, what can I do? And August 24th, I was like, well, I'll commit to at least work out for five minutes. I only did that like two days. I mostly just every day, you know, would work out 10 minutes or more, but I committed to at least work out for five minutes. And that's what, and I was chatting with her about that. She was, it, she was saying, and she's so right, because I thought this before too. She's like, so many people though, well, you know, or there may be a lot of people who feel like, well, why bother if it's just five minutes? And I have, I have so done that so many times in my life. And I was like, but that, it's like I was totally missing the point there. And I wanted to share that with you because it really came to me because the point is, is like, so five minutes of workout a day may not help me get to my goals, but what it did is it shifted the course of my workout. It, sh it helped me start instead of going down this path where I wasn't ever working out, it shifted me to this path to where I made a commitment to work out five minutes a day. And it started creating a habit. And so once, um, and so it started creating a habit. And so like once five minutes didn't seem overwhelming, I, it's like, well, 10 minutes, I'll just, commit to work out at least 10 minutes a day. And that didn't seem overwhelming at all. That was very simple for me. And then once I got used to that, I was able to add five more. And so 15. And so now I'm at 20 minutes a day and it doesn't feel overwhelming. Like when I started though, if I had tried to commit to 20 minutes a day, I think that would have been too overwhelming. It wouldn't have been simple enough for me. It wouldn't have been something I feel like I could have committed to. But you see what I'm saying? Like I just kind of changed the course. So like if there, whatever you can do now, if you're thinking with your diet or with your workout, like if it's like, well, if I can only eat 1800 calories a day, or if I can only, you know, or some people may lose weight on that, but I don't really lose weight, but you know what I mean? Like just whatever you can do, just get started on it. Because what it does is it just, plant, I think, or in my experience with this, is it just starts planting seeds in your head that will kind of, you know, snowball, and before you know it, there's more and more that you're adding, and before you know it, every all of it's starting to just work. I hope that made sense. I really wanted to share it because I just feel like that that's what was important there with committing to five minutes today. It wasn't that I thought five minutes would get me everything I ever wanted. It was that what ended up being the best thing about that was that it just kind of shifted what I was doing to building better habits and doing more and more stuff. So, okay, let's see what else have I got here. All right, what I ate, macros that, da, 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 workouts. I think that's everything. Oh, it's not everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my week 20 weigh-in. Hi, I'm gonna weigh in. It is 403 Wednesday, October 6, 2021. And I'll put my phone here on the other scale.
212. Yay! I lost the weight. I, lost, I think I lost 1.2 pounds. Yes. Oh, that is so good. All right. All right, that is it. It is a 404 Wednesday, October 6, 2021. And that's everything. Bye-bye. So yeah, I lost a little bit. Like, I mean, I know I ate like 1600 calories, which is quite a bit more than I had been eating and losing weight. And also really, I've been just so amazed that I've been losing any weight because I don't know. I just, I, I only thing I can think of is it's maybe the working out that it's kind of increased my metabolism or or sometimes there's just no rhyme or reason. Sometimes you do everything right and you just don't lose any weight. And then sometimes out of nowhere, you just drop a bunch every week. Um, but I've just been kind of amazed that I'm still losing a pound and, you know, at least a pound each week. So, uh, but that's fine with me. You'll eventually get there, even if it's a pound. So I lost 1.2 pounds this week. I Last week I weighed 213.2 and this week I weighed 212. Uh, so yay, I am so glad. Uh, Yes, <laughs> it's still going in the right direction. And I may be only losing one pound, but 212 is so, so far from 254.8, which is what I was January 1st. And, you know, maybe that seems really, really slow to people, but I'll take it. It's much better than still being in the 250s. So, you know, that's fine with me. All right. Oh, I thought there was something else I really, really wanted to share with you guys. I don't know. You remember a week or two ago, I kind of shared that I got new, um, some new exercise pants. And I've just been so excited because I'm no longer in plus size or women's size clothing. I'm back into misses. I just, yes, <laughs> I'm so glad. Um, I'm wearing, like, my pants are usually like a 16, 18 misses. Misses. Yes. Okay, and by, sorry, I'm just, I can't, oh, I'm just really excited about that. Uh, before, like, even, like, 18 misses just seemed so tiny because I was just, like, I think a 22 women's, I don't know, it was, so I'm just really excited about that. And then my tops, you know, I'm still wearing, like, an extra large, and I think I have some extra, extra large, but, but they're misses, too. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. Uh, and I bought a pair of uh, shorts, and I thought that I would show you what I'm wearing today. And it's, I don't think any of it's even in style. I mean, I'm, I work from home, and I've mostly just been staying home right now, you know, like with getting better and everything, like from everything um, this summer. And I, I, so I'm mostly at home. I work from home, and so I don't think, you know, this isn't like fashionable really, but it is so comfy. But yeah, so it got me a couple of new outfits. I'm so excited. Yes, I'm moving in the right direction. Yes. And my, uh, I think that's about everything. My goals are still the same. I'm hoping, you know, my first goal is to get back to 191.2, which is what 191.2, which is what my doctor says I need to weigh in order to no longer be obese. And then my ultimate goal would be 159.2, I think, um, which will be a healthy, official healthy weight, according to my doctor and the BMI and all. Um, so I know that everybody has different ideas about that and, and all, and I don't even know. I'm not totally committed to BMI and all, but it just it was just a way to met is a, a way of measuring for me. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do there and I was really hoping to no longer be obese by the end of this year but since I'm only losing about a pound a week I don't know if I'll still get there but I know I'll eventually get there I'm not gonna stop um, so we'll just see what happens there oh and I thought I'd also add like I always do um, a, a, I'm really 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 I'm I'm really hoping to try to build a community where you know a friendly and welcoming community where we can get together and have like a support system for each other with our health and weight loss goals not it's not a specific diet or anything like that but uh, a way to come together where you feel like you have cheerleaders and also where you feel like you can brainstorm what's not working and also you know celebrate your wins then you know just a, a support system I feel like it's one of the, the the biggest things that has really helped me as well. Like the mindset shifts, which I'm going to start calling principles, I think. And, uh, and like just sort of that. And then also 
I'm not in a weight loss support system, but I am in another group where you build goals and we are supportive of each other and it has been life altering. And I just would really like to create something like that with all of you if you're interested that is i don't know if anybody will be interested so far i'm just talking about it it hadn't happened so <laughs> but if you're interested in something like that please check out my website at heroawakens.com all right so i think that's about everything so please always remember just don't give up you can do this don't give up stick with me stick with it stick with all of your goals all of your health and weight loss goals and um, just keep you know doing shifts and one of the biggest things please don't beat yourself up when you're not doing well that is one of the biggest things I have figured out is thinking that I felt like the the most important thing was powering through and willpower and that what I am figuring out what actually works is figuring out how to be kind to myself and figuring out simple little things where I'm just slowly changing everything and that is just making it's helping me get to my goals way better than the other way. Uh, so I highly recommend that for you as well. And uh, it's, stick with whatever you're doing. Don't give up. You will figure out a way to make it happen. And just please always remember it too much has not happened. And you haven't, you know, been away from it for too long for you to have the life that you'd really like to have and work towards making your dreams come true. Um, Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.